This is the Star Wars The Black Series. Gaming greats, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Bastila Sean. Or Bastila Sean. Wow. Uh, packaging looks phenomenal. I picked up this figure uh, from a local hobby shop called Hobby Corner for approximately about 29 US dollars. And here is Bastila Shan out of the box. And boy, what a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Hasbro really did a number on this figure. I mean, it has its little flaws here and there, little tiny flaws, but overall it is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Fantastic sculpt, head sculpt, body sculpt. Great lightsaber, the colors look amazing. Her outfit, the way she looks overall, very accurate uh, to how we saw her in the video game. I, I really love this figure and I wasn't gonna get this figure to be honest because I was trying to stay away from the gaming grades figure. Am I glad I picked her up? I would have regretted not getting this figure. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 15 and a quarter centimeters tall or about six inches tall. And for comparisons, here she is with Mara Jade on the right and Darth Revan on the left. The figure comes with her signature double-edged or double-bladed yellow lightsaber. Both blades are removable and the hilt is made of this black blackish gray plastic that's been painted in some really nice silver highlights got some really nice fantastic detail on that hilt very high gloss high very metallic silver paint apps the only issue on my copy of the figure is that the the hilt is a little bit bent and it got bent in, as it was packaged in that cardboard insert um and it, it's a little skewed and as such, when you plug in the blade, the blade's kind of skewed. It is a little bit annoying that, yeah. Articulation on the figure. The neck is on a triple ball joint. Ball joint up here, ball joint in the middle, and then ball joint at the base of the neck. The shoulders have hinges that go in and out. You can go forward and backward. And they have butterfly joints. You got a uh, single hinge uh, swivel elbow. It's a shame. I wish they could have put double double jointed elbows, but you know. The wrists are on swivels and they go up and down. Both wrists go up and down. And I love that because she can hold her lightsaber properly with the hands moving up and down. She's got a ball jointed midsection or waist. Hips are on ball joints. You can forward, backward, do the splits. You got a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that are, you can still see the pins. You got a boot cut calf swivel. Hinge ankles go up and down and have the rocker tilt. As far as details go, pretty accurate. That head sculpt looking very accurate to the video game render. The outfit, I mean, it's gorgeous. The way they've sculpted it, the soft PVC material. I mean, this wouldn't have worked with soft goods, but I love how they've, they've managed to do that. It doesn't look static. It looks pretty dynamic. And there's a lot of room for posing the figure with this, with her outfit. Uh, my only, if ever, worry is that these pieces right here, they're not attached in a ring uh, on the shoulders. And they're, they're a single piece that's attached to the midsection of, of the tunic. And as you articulate the figure and you move the arms out, the shoulder pads don't really come back down. They kind of get stretched out. So that's probably the only complaint I have. But it's not really a complaint. It's just more of an observation. You can... It's not such a big deal or a deal breaker. As far as paint apps go, hardly any quality issues. Star Wars really does a good job. The Black Series and, and the TVC, they really do, do a good job with keeping the quality control uh, of paint apps as opposed to how Marvel Legends does it. Even with the face, you get this beautifully painted face sculpt, some nice lipstick. Although on my copy, the lipstick is skewed a little bit to, to her left or yeah, just a little bit. It's hardly noticeable. The eyes are painted nice, very lovely. Yeah, the hair. Just a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. And so some final thoughts on this Black Series gaming greats, Bastila Sean. Man, it's a near perfect figure. If I'm gonna fault this figure, like I said, it's probably the joints with the pins. And maybe they could have put some double hinged elbows, 
that would have made this figure super perfect. But as it is, I think it's a pretty darn good figure. If you have to pick up one figure in this entire wave, this has got to be it. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. I was just very impressed with this. And this Black Series line has sucked me into this Gaming Greats subline. And um, I think I'm going to have to get more. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats Bastila Sean. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.